Hello everyone, I'm Alex and I'm streaming uh, with uh, my nickname Russian with uh, Alex. This video I called uh, how do Ukrainians uh, rest during uh, the war. I had uh, on my vacation in the western part of Ukraine and I filmed a lot of video to show you how people rest. Now it's forbidden for men to leave uh, Ukraine. We can't go abroad because of uh, the martial law. Uh, and I didn't have a lot of uh, choice uh, to, um, about places. Uh, so I decided to go in the western part of Ukraine. There are a lot of mountains, there are mineral water and uh, resorts. I was surprised uh, because at first because uh, when I started searching for a hotel, um, all uh, hotels uh, were, were booked and they took me uh, several days to found, find a free accommodation there. One my friend uh, advised uh, me one uh, not expensive hotel and uh, I went there. I decided to go on vacation because uh, I had a lot of lessons, so I was uh, exhausted uh, because of my lessons, because of my university. They uh, tried to took some nerves uh, from me uh, during the studying process. So they wanted me to go uh, to military recruiting center. They forced me uh, so that I could go to fight and when I refused uh, they told me that they kick me out. Uh, however, after some time they told me that I can continue my studying. So now, now I am still a student. And because of the situation uh, here uh, with this war I was tired. So that's why I had one month free and I decided to go to the western part of Ukraine. So there are two options uh, how to get there by t by train and by bus. And it was my mistake that I chose uh, a bus at first. Uh, so I was really tired after my night uh, trip in bus. It was a mistake because uh, when I was returning I chose a train. So uh, I could uh, sleep um, well enough at night. Uh, the road, the itinerary, the road took me um, about uh, 24 hours or even more because the distance is more than 1000 kilometers from the eastern part of Ukraine to the western part. When I got this place I filmed uh, some video about this, by the way. Maybe now I will turn it on. I am on the bus station of uh, Truskovets. I came here at first when I arrived in Truskovets. And I didn't have any forces because I was very tired and I didn't have time to take a bus to my hotel and I took a, a taxi but I noticed that this place really looks like a resort like a resort district why? because this place is in the forest very clean air is here and of course you see a lot of hotels everywhere so I was riding this way and I could observe this place at first and uh, that's what I noticed clean and smooth roads Ukrainian flags are everywhere people walking 
in the box and a lot of hotels. Now we didn't have any options to go abroad because it's forbidden for men from 18 to 60 because our government thinks that everybody has to fight now and uh, that's why I didn't have a lot of options and I chose this place I am here for the first time and I think it's a good place to come here again There are a lot of churches here like this uh, I was uh, surprised by this place I was uh, there for the first time in my life because my previous vacations uh, I spent uh, usually in other places uh, I have not been uh, to a lot of places in my life I have been only a couple of times abroad I have been in Poland um, in the Russian Federation, of course, in the Crimean Peninsula. This peninsula is annexed uh, now, I think you know about it, and uh, two times uh, in Egypt. And now it was my first uh, trip to the uh, western part of Ukraine as a vacation maker. Um, no, maybe it was uh, my second time, but anyway, um, my vacation, now my vacation was about uh, 21 days uh, and it's quite it was quite a long vacation because uh, I wanted to support my health uh, I don't have any problems however um, we have to take care about our health it's, it's first uh, the most important this is our health is the most important thing um, nowadays I think so that's why I decided to uh, treat uh, to, to be treated to drink mineral water to get uh, some new impressions and to rest uh, after after the war i don't know after the situation after uh, two years uh, being under um, russian shellings so this uh, hotel uh, was built uh, in the soviet period of time uh, there are, were a lot of people resting uh, and uh, they met me very well there. A woman gave me uh, keys from uh, two different um, uh, rooms, two different, uh, two different uh, apartments. Uh, uh, there are about 12 uh, floors in this building and uh, because I uh, didn't have to pay a lot, uh, I chose the cheapest um, accommodation and uh, I, was, uh, uh, I was living uh, on uh, the ninth floor. So I chose uh, one apartment and uh, I, uh, I checked in. On the first day, uh, my doctor prescribed, prescribed me um, some treatment. It was uh, like um, soothing baths, mm, massage with uh, water jet, uh, mineral water, of course. Uh, this is the most thing here. People who are treated have to drink um, mineral water. Um, I filmed this process, it looks like uh, that, so you have to put a uh, plastic card uh, in special place and press a button and uh, you uh, can get uh, only 
prescribed um, amount of uh, water, not more. And I had to drink this water six or seven times a day. Also, um, uh, they prescribed me a massage uh, and uh, some um, electric uh, treatment for my back. Uh, to be honest, I don't know. Um, how do you call this in English? They just put on your back uh, some kind of a pillow and uh, you are electrocuted with uh, electricity. Uh, this way you can uh, treat your back. I could uh, treat my back this way. And after some time, uh, my friend with his uh, wife um, came at the same hotel. They lived um, two times, um, two floors. Um, uh, under uh, my floor and uh, he, uh, they advised me this uh, hotel and uh, he uh, has been there for the maybe uh, fifth or sixth time and, uh, and uh, despite the fact that I was alone I, uh, it was not boring uh, for me so I was not bored. Now I remember the situation, like one my friend told that he is not used to uh, rest alone. And one time he decided to go to Egypt uh, to rest there. He chose a five stars uh, hotel. Uh, however, when he started his vacation, he felt not well because he was alone. Uh, and uh, I think uh, that um, I think uh, he, he was just a lack of plans. He didn't have anything to do. Usually, um, uh, if if you have uh, some plans, uh, you are not bored. After a couple of days resting, uh, I decided to go to the city center of uh, this town, of the city. Uh, the city is called uh, Truskavets, uh, by the way. And uh, I was also surprised. It looked like uh, a big park with a lot of people. Sometimes I could see like mil military and some people told that this military could uh, give you um, like drafting papers so uh, like someone to the military and by the way i was stopped uh, one time by the military uh, so when i uh, was uh, uh, on my way back to my hotel it was evening already and i saw a group of soldiers uh, you know i didn't pay attention to them however when I approached them, one guy asked me my, my documents. However, I answered that he doesn't have any rights um, to ask uh, my documents because he doesn't have uh, permission to do this. And when I started going my way, they surrounded me and they didn't allow me to go. And I was um, quite afraid um, because of this situation uh, and also because I am a full-time student, I have a reference uh, of it and I told them okay, I will show you my documents, my reference uh, and he asked me what kind of reference I showed me, I'm a, a full-time student, so show this and uh, I'm going to go uh, after reading uh, my reference, uh, he told me uh, how is your studying? And he started smiling. Um, and because of uh, I was uh, angry, I answered him. Uh, now I have uh, my vacation and I'm not studying because it was uh, the end of uh, August. Okay, and I started going my way and uh, uh, I did uh, several steps. And when I um, found out uh, that they don't follow me, I returned and I, <laughs> I yelled uh, them. Uh, have permission and uh, don't pull uh, this crap.
uh, it was quite uh, rough. Uh, however, I was uh, very angry because of this situation, you know, soldiers or these military workers, they violate our laws. They don't have any rights to stop people, uh, to ask them for their documents uh, or even we have a lot of cases now on the internet, you can check it out, that military soldiers just catch people and um, take them to the military center. They force uh, them to, to take a medical clearance test, uh, so that after this they could send them to, to the war. Uh, now about pluses and minuses of hotel. Pluses, uh, the hotel is um, very cheap, uh, and uh, at the same time, at the same time, food uh, is not um, very very delicious. It was just a simple food. We always had uh, carrot, like um, chopped ca carrot, uh, or g um, g uh, cabbage, uh, or beetroot. Uh, and uh, fried um, eggplants, something like that, or some kind of porridge, uh, fish, uh, and uh, uh, we didn't have, we didn't eat um, fat food there because uh, uh, this is uh, hotel um, is for treatment usually, and uh, they maybe want uh, their. Uh, people um, kept some diet, uh, so that uh, food was very simple. I'm in the Bukavele, on the floor of Bukavele. It's interesting that there's no wind here now. It's a quiet weather, a non-wetter weather. I'm going to show you the view from this floor. Смотровая площадка. Сейчас есть опасность молнии, грозы, но тем не менее люди есть здесь. В дождевых плащах 